Okay, let's talk about the lens effect in lights. Okay, we create an omni light and we want to create a lens effect, lens flare, lens <clears throat> reflex. Here in a tab of the light is the lens. Here <clears throat> we have two things, glow, a little glow around the light and it's reflex. It's inactive. As you can see, we have a lot of glow. You can choose one of them. Default, as you can see, you can see it here. If you render, this is our glow. You can change the brightness. Nice, you can change the brightness <clears throat> down. <clears throat> this is our glow. And we have a different type of the glow like this. As you can see, 744. With a keyboard up and down, you can choose one of them that you want. For example, this. This is an about aspect ratio. You can scale it in any direction that you want. Look at here. And an interesting part is edit type. As you can see, you can edit your glow. Uh, we have five elements. Element number one element number two, element number three. For better understanding them, element number one, inactive. As you can see, it is inside. Element number two, inactive. Element number three, in a type, inactive. Okay, so <clears throat> you can choose the element of your glow and this is a uh, beams, the light beams, you can control them. Element number one, you can choose type four, five, any type that you want. It's an element. Element and uh, its size. You can change the size. You can change the color. Anything that you want, you can change it here. You can change the aspect ratio of that. One, it means 1.1. One one. <clears throat> you can active the ring around that size. You can uh, rainbow ring. You can activate it. And then element number two, you can type four, element number four, you can activate them. And for each element here, these are the base, element number one, two. These glows are making from five elements that you can choose them and edit them. So, <clears throat> and we have the four element also for beams. You can choose them. These are inactive. We have just element number one, element number two, four beams. You can look at here. Element number one here, you can change the thickness of that. Beams, you can, how many bricks that you want, change the widths, random distribution, random beam slings, a star shape that you want, you can create it very much. And here in the beams, you can change the size also here, aspect ratio, angle. You can make it anything that you want. And reflex, you can add any reflex that you want, like this. And if you render, these are our reflex. Nice. We need little brightness. These are our reflex that are depending to <clears throat> angle of the camera and here you can change the brightness aspect ratio and of course you can edit it as you can see we have one two three four five a lot of disc here for example for element number zero element number two as you can see these are all elements we have i think yeah this element and you can edit it here you can add it you can add another element number 14 or remove it or for element number for example as you can see we have a lots of element here that you can change it like this if you want element number 10 9 8 for example here you can change it color yeah you can change it color and so on all above the reflex here you can change the uh, scale of your 
reflex rotation if you have a polygon in mode and that's it in these settings use light parameter it means if you go to the general and create a red all of the rings and all of the beams all of the lens effects turn to the red because it's use a light parameter if you turn it off we have our own color here independent from the color right click reset to the default <clears throat> sometimes it's good sometimes it's not good and fade if behind object hmm. it's nice if you render it's fade but if i tick that as you can see it is behind the object but it's there it's not good uh glow distance scale it means if you render it from this distance we have it if you go into this distance we have the same size it tells us it tells the software glow distance by scale if you are closer like if you are more far from more far from they are changing the distance so i think it is nice if you want <clears throat> fade if near border it, it means near a border of the software if you render it as you can see we can see that if you tick it it's completely fade because of the border sometimes it's good <clears throat> fade if approaching the object uh, yeah as you can see it's not fade fade if approaching the object as you can see it fade when approaching to the object if you want and reflex distance scale as you can see if you are going far we have a small if you are going closer far as you can see if you tick that the reflex and the beams are different to camera distance from your source and you can untick them so this is all about the lens uh in, in a small project you can use it but uh, i don't suggest you to use it in the software because we have a lot of uh, lens effects out there in after effect nuke or compositing software uh, don't use them here because they are in your final render and you cannot uh, edit it after rendering so i prefer use these effects these effects by another software like after effects and not in your 3d software but in a small project you can use it if you want okay this is all about the lens next lessons you're going to the project hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release